Hello brothers and sisters, Jack Talcott here again to help remind you how to live without fear. And today, again, I want to take our minds on a, on a little journey through the path of some thoughts and consciousness. And I want you to receive my words, hopefully, with, um, with the energy of love <laughs> and gratitude, because that's my intentions. So, if you can, make sure you're safe and comfortable, whatever you're doing. Take a moment, just oh, loosen up, get some mobility in the spine, gently relax. And if you're seated, allow your feet to connect to the floor. Let's take a break from the, the chaos of our lives and just spend a few minutes together. So if you can, close your eyes, but again, be responsible for your environment. And we'll start at the beginning. For our breath, squeeze your, your rectum like you, like you gotta go. And breathe in and feel how your base of your abdomen expands. And once you notice that inside, that inside breath, you can release your butt. <laughs> but breathe down to that same area. So if you can, we're just going to release the chaos of the day. Release the chaos of the world. Breath. That breath. <laughs> that breath is the energy of life. Allowed by the atmosphere of this planet. The combination of animals and ocean and plants. It's allowed. That breath. Wherever you're at, in the city, <laughs> it comes from nature. We are from nature. We're big old furless mammals. <laughs> you know? The point I'm trying to get across is that breath. If you can silence your mind and find gratitude in that breath, the rest, it's all temporary. <laughs> the rest is all bonus. The rest is all for us to figure out, to overcome, to adapt. The rest is the world beyond your breath. But you are beyond your breath. You are that consciousness that is aware of your breath, aware of your being, aware of your body, aware of your past, aware of your environment. That is you. I want you to be grateful for you because you're perfect. We all are imperfectly perfect <laughs> with perfect opportunities to improve. That's what I want to talk about today. Some new perspectives. I'm losing my light in my room here. You know, when I when things are tough in my life situation, that's what I've learned. <sighs> that moment of breath of gratitude 
It's available wherever you are. Jesus kept his gratitude and peace through some pretty awful stuff. So that's one memory I've learned of that I compare myself to. I'm not him. Holy crap, thank God. Although I do my best, let me tell you. I've learned. But the reality is, whatever problems you're dealing with right now, there's others who have it worse. I saw in the news some man released after 44 years of prison. He maintained his innocence that entire time. Thank God that wasn't my path. We've separated children from their families at our borders, with our prisons. Thank God that wasn't my path. <laughs> okay? The key to this life is, is love. It's, it's knowledge. The key to love is joy and gratitude it starts with gratitude so let me get on with perspectives and hopefully you can find some gratitude practice this for yourself I mean if I get interest I'll do more of this stuff but this is my method of meditation it's a constant awareness of presence if you can convince your mind to surrender to truth, surrender to love, <laughs> to surrender to God. God, that takes courage, man. The courage with surrender at the right time, it's faith. There was some sort of intelligence that created this universe and the laws of gravity and inertia and energy and chemicals and structure. There's something that made this. I call it God. Universe. Source. So throughout our history, we've had heroes who've demonstrated the powers of uh, non-aggression. Gandhi, Dr. King, many, many others. <laughs> many. But what we live in is a world of aggression and control. We are taught to obey authority. And obedience creates a selfishness because we obey selfishly so we don't get hurt or we don't get in whatever, don't get in trouble. And then we've created a world where secrets are profitable, lies are profitable, fear, scarcity, immorality. These things are currently profitable around the world. When I say a world of aggression, we're controlled. Well, employers control their employees. Workers don't have rights in most of this free United States. So employers control their employees Businesses are the employees who control the customers, <laughs> control the uh, suppliers, control the markets. We got advertising to manipulate what is what the beliefs are. We've got entertainment to keep us distracted, sports to keep us distracted. It's the bread and circus of the Romans, if, if I'm applying the words right, history. 
the selfishness of capitalism where deception's rewarded, control is rewarded, ego is rewarded, that's evil. That is anti-Christ, anti-God, anti-sharing, anti-nature. That's insane and I'm thinking of my guilt. I used to support it. Right now, this pandemic response is affecting so many people. It's creating a lot of fear. Why? Because of economic survival, not physical survival. If people weren't slaves to their jobs, to debts, the hospital capacities wouldn't be an issue. Our nurses and our doctors wouldn't be overworked because healthy individuals could come in and take care of some of the labor. Same with our fires, our floods. The environment's reacting and we can't respond because we have an economic system where a limited number of human beings own more than half of the wealth of the world. This is insanity. and It's like Twilight Zone shit to me, man. I can't believe this world is true anymore. The insanity I saw... Divided we remain governed and ruled. Religions were created for division and control. They were intended to be fingers pointed towards God. We were taught to worship egos, worship individuals. The principles of capitalism are very selfish, and selfish is aggressive. Profits in capitalism come from unpaid workers, un, unpaid, unshared wages, excuse me, deception of value, and manipulation of resources. Now, resources are human beings. We've capitalized human beings, placed an economic value on people and everything else. This is insane. So what if, what if we created a better tomorrow? It's so simple. What if human beings shared knowledge and started worship, started worshiping God? <laughs> Those words were coming out. <laughs> what if the, what if human beings chose to share knowledge, work it, worship God, and share efforts. This deception of authority and value makes us beat the shit out of ourselves. No idea. I never did it to others. Well, yeah, I did. Bullies. Speaking of bullies, that's kind of another point to my videos is... Right now we have the uh, logistics, we have the administration, we have everything in place. The simple elimination of secrets would eliminate enemies. We stop trying to control other nations. We stop trying to control citizens. We work together with equality. We can use the money system. Eliminate the harmful jobs, the harmful products. Eliminate. 
How about we just tear, share the truth? Because see, perfect honesty is a choice. We're available. We're allowed. And that's the bully that I want to confront right now, I guess, is, is Donald Trump. I'd really like to have a conversation, but it doesn't have to be me. All of our elected officials have the authority to use their legislative power and influence of the, uh, the hearts and integrity of the American people. We can change this world, man. We can end refugee camps. We can end this wealth inequality, prisons, homelessness, borders. There's power in numbers. That's where strength comes from in unity. That's what God is. It's cohesive emergence of love and unity. That builds strength and power. This dishonesty crap. This obedience and control of others. It's evil. And we're going to change the world when we start working together. So I guess that's where we start. I'm Jack Talcott. I'm asking someone to share some efforts. And let's work together to convince our legislators, all of them collectively. Because we know the story of Kennedy. There's been plenty of warning shots fired by the military industrial complex. You know, employees who have been paid to do horrible things. So Donald Trump would probably be safe if all the other citizens were on board. And frankly, if God and peace are options, you know, once the awareness is pointed out, once God allows other people to listen, and, well, once God allows God to be revealed, the truth to be revealed, then all will be known. It's just perfect logic, I guess. But, um, you know, we create a better future with the choices of today. The choices of today need to be responses to our environment, not reactions. If we knew the truth <laughs> about the damages we're creating to each other, we'd stop. I'm confident of this. Anyway, I think I... Hopefully I painted a picture of what 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 we've got, and hopefully you've got some ideas of what we can. I mean, here's another thought. If we share technology and best practices globally, let alone within the United States, within the United States, if we shared resources, labor, resources, effort, knowledge, <laughs> technology, best practices... We could have free energy, escape the fossil fuel dependence. We could stop destroying our environment. We could help our neighbors restore their homelands so people are free to migrate as Mother Nature dictates. We got a lot of opportunities for improvement. My life was a wreck, <laughs> and I fixed myself. My life is a wreck. Our world is a wreck. Hey, brothers and sisters, find peace within your heart. Seek truth. Find the courage within your heart to surrender to whatever is true in your life. Identify what's wrong. Make a choice to inspire yourself with ideas on how to change it. Brothers and sisters, namaste, peace, and God bless us all.
live without fear. Without fear is faith, love, truth, gratitude, life.